Hi guys, today in math you should be on page 205. We're doing lesson 5.6, use related facts, which we are experts on now. Okay, what number can you add to eight to get 10? Draw a picture to solve, write the unknown number. So this is kind of like what we did um, in 5.5 where we were finding the missing numbers. It's the same kind of thing. So we're gonna draw pictures to complete the number sentence now. So we have eight plus, we don't know what this number is. To get to 10 equals 10. 10 is our whole, eight is one of our parts, and we're trying to find what is the other part. So let's go ahead and we would start with eight. So we have eight, but we need to know how many more to get to 10. So let's make eight first. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, I just like to make five at the top and then I go down and do the rest of them. So it looks like a 10 frame, so it's easy for me to count. So five, six, seven, eight. Alrighty, I have eight circles here. So now that's the start, that's my part. That's one of my parts. So, but I wanna get to 10. I wanna get to 10. So how many more till I get to 10? So let's add more circles till I get to 10. So I have eight, and let's actually turn these to X's. Nine, 10. That way you can see what we've added. So what did we have to add to the eight to get to 10? What is it? How many X's did I make? Good, two X's. So eight plus two equals 10. That was all it was, right? To find the extra part to make our whole or to find that missing number. Good job. And I know you know a lot of strategies to get to that number as well, because we've been doing these for a while. All right, it says you can use an addition fact to find a related subtraction fact. Find 10 minus three. Okay, using subtraction to help you. We're good at that, right? So this is our fact family. This is our fact family triangle, which we've talked about a little bit before. It also can be like, it's a number bond. It has a lot of names, but we start with a whole up top and then the whole is broken into two parts. So in this case, our whole is 10, three is one of our parts and seven is one of our parts. So to create equations with this, these fact family members, we could do an addition equation, three plus seven equals 10, or we can do a subtraction equation. 10 minus three equals seven. I know that three plus seven equals 10, so that means you also know that 10 minus three equals seven. So let's continue with this. Write the unknown numbers. So here we wanted to find 14 minus eight. So they've got a fact family triangle already set up for us with our whole 14, one of our parts, eight, and we're looking for our other part. You can do that in one of two ways. You can use addition to solve it, eight plus what number equals 14, or you can go straight to subtraction, 14 minus eight equals what number? Now you can use whatever strategy you like. I've always said that, but what you might wanna start practicing if you're not using this strategy yet is counting on. It is the best way to find missing add-ins. You would start with eight, count up to 14, and how many numbers it took you to get there, that's your missing part, all right? So let's use counting on strategy for our first one, then we'll try a different strategy for the next one. So I'd like you to put eight in your hand, and then we're gonna count up to 14. So here we go, put eight in your hand and say eight. Eight, let's count to 14. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How many did it take us to get to 14? Yeah, six. So eight plus six equals 14. Therefore, 14 minus eight equals six because six is the extra member of our fact family. All right, let's do the next one. 17 minus 10. Okay, so 17 is our whole. Eight is one of our parts. Let's find the other part. Okay, we can use subtraction to find the missing add end if you prefer subtraction. So we're gonna do an example of using subtraction with picture strategy if that is something you prefer. So 17 minus eight, I'm gonna start with 17, so I need to draw 17 circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now remember I told you I only like doing five in a row because it allows me to go back and look at my work and make sure that I didn't draw 18 or I didn't draw 16 because I can see I've got five, 
Five more is 10. Five more is 15, 16, 17. So I want a minus eight, and that helps me when I'm subtracting as well, because I can cross out a whole five, six, seven, eight. Now, whatever is left is my missing part. So I've got two here, a five, and two more. I could start with five and count on, or let's just make it easier and let's just count the whole thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is my missing part. 17 minus eight equals nine. Therefore, eight plus nine equals 17. All right, two strategies, using subtraction to solve for the missing add end, or counting on to find the missing add end to give you the answer for subtraction. You decide what you like best. All right, so let's go here. 11 minus six, finding the other fact family member, finding the missing add end for our equation, and do it finding the missing part for our subtraction equation. So I'm gonna use my favorite strategy, counting on. So I encourage you to practice by counting on with me. I'm gonna start with six in my hand, I'm gonna count up to 11, and that's gonna give me my missing add in. So here we go, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. How many did I have to count on? Five, five is my missing part. So let's put my missing part here, six plus five equals 11, so 11 minus six must equal five. Now, if you are starting to memorize your math facts, then you also automatically know that six plus five equals 11. All right, let's do the next one, 15 minus nine. Looking for our extra part, looking for our missing add end, looking for our um, difference in this case, which is our missing part. Okay, I'm gonna start with nine, I'm gonna count up to 15, here we go, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What did I get? Six. Six is my missing fact family member. Nine plus six equals 15, and 15 minus nine equals six. Okay, great. Lots of practice here. All right, now we're going to write the unknown numbers here. You are going to work on these on your own. All right, I'm not going to keep doing them for you. You can use the same strategies. You're gonna find 20 minus 10. I want you to fill in your missing fact family member. I want you to find the missing add end and find the missing difference here, which is the missing part. So I want you to go ahead and work on your own. If you get stuck or you have any problems, you can go ahead and I will be here for you. You can um, talk to me about it. We can work through some of the problems together. If you're watching this video later on, then you can rewind the video and go back and see how we solved these equations and how we use counting on, and that can help you here. All right, so go ahead and take some time. Complete five, six, seven, and eight. I'll wait. All right, great. Let's move on to number nine. Write an addition sentence to help you find the difference. Then write the related subtraction sentence to solve. So I'm going to give you, we want to do 11 minus 5. So let's write that here. 11 minus 5, that's what we're solving for. So our in addition equation is going to be 5 because that's the part we know, plus we don't know this part, equals the whole, which is 11. So let's solve for this. We want to know what part goes with 5 to make 11, and what is 11 minus 5. Now, you can use whatever strategy you like to solve. Let's go ahead and use picture strategy once again to give those people that enjoy picture strategy another chance. All right, so let's make 11 circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, I have 11 and I'm gonna take away five. So I know that I've made five in my top row, so I can just cross out my top row. And because I make five in a row, I know this is five, plus one more is six. Five, six. 11 minus five equals six. Does this look familiar? Yeah, we just did it over here, didn't we? And five plus six equals 11. Excellent. All right, let's do this one. We wanna find 13 minus six. So, oh, look at here. Don't let that confuse you. Our Equal signs are in the front, but that doesn't make a difference. It just means my whole is gonna go in the front. And I already know what my whole is, it's 11. If I was to take these numbers and put them in a fact family triangle, I would have 11 at the top, 
I would have five and six at the bottom. These are the numbers I'm working with. So if I was doing addition, that was for this one. For this one, let's make a fact family triangle too. So let's do 13 at the top and six. And this one is our mystery. We don't know which that one is right now. But we know the whole is 13. So 13 is going to be before the equal sign in both of these situations, okay? And our part, because this is our whole, equals the two parts put together. The whole equals, oh wait, we're looking for a part over here. Sorry about that. Mrs. Smalley wants to do subtraction. And we know when we do subtraction, the largest number always goes before the subtraction sign. So we don't want to put our largest number behind the equals because we're doing subtraction. So you have to subtract from the bigger number. So that's why sometimes when we do subtraction with our equal sign up front, you might get confused. So let's make sure that the largest number or the whole is right before the subtraction sign. All right, we know our part is six. So we're gonna put our part here, 13 equals six plus mystery part, or mystery part equals 13 minus six. So you can solve it either way. You can solve 13 minus six, or you can start with six and count on to get to 13. And we'll do that with this one. Do it with me, put six in your hand, say six, and then count on to 13. Here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. What did we get? Seven. So six plus seven equals 13, or seven equals 13 minus six. All right, that was a good catch. Okay, good job, let's turn the page. All right, this is kind of a puzzle here. Let's see. Look at the shapes in the addition sentence. Draw the shapes to show a related subtraction fact. Okay, this might seem a little crazy, but it is not as hard as you might think. So we have square plus triangle equals circle. All right, so circle is our whole, square and triangle are our parts. If we were to put them in a fact family triangle, we would have circle is our whole, square and triangle are our parts. So let that be your guide. So if we had the whole minus one of the parts would equal the other part. And we know our other part is just a triangle. Let's do another one. All right, rectangle plus heart equals rhombus. All right, so rhombus is our whole Rectangle and heart are our parts. So remember, when we do subtraction, we wanna put the whole in front of the subtraction sign. So our whole in this case is rhombus, or some of you might know that as a diamond. But in math words, it's a rhombus. So we have rhombus minus heart. Rhombus minus heart equals what? Equals rectangle. So let's make our rectangle down here. Good job. Okay, now I have Oval plus star equals square. So our whole is the square. Our parts are the star and the oval. So I'm gonna take my whole, which is square. I'm gonna minus one of the parts. You pick which one you like. I'm going to minus the star. Equals the oval. And if you struggle making these shapes, just do the best you can. All right, so our last one, 14, which is the unknown number in these related facts? Okay, so we have mystery number plus five equals 12. 12 minus five equals mystery number. So these are all the different ways to make it. Let's make a fact family triangle to help piece this out. So our whole in each of these cases is what number? Yeah, our whole is a 12. And our part, we only know one of the parts and the part we know is the five. So we have to figure out what is the other part. So what plus five equals 12 or 12 minus five equals what part? So let's use counting on, starting with five, counting up to 12. Put five in your hand, say five, and count to 12. Here we go, ready, go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. What number did we get? Seven, let's double check. So seven plus five equals 12, is that a true fact? Yeah, is five plus seven equals 12? Yeah, because now we're all in the same fact family and these are related facts. So seven goes in our subtraction facts as well and we can color in the bubble for seven. All right, good job working on related facts. 
In today's uh, independent work, you're going to do page 208A, all problems on this page, and 208B, all problems on this page. All right, thanks.